So uh, um, let me get started in chapter two and move along here. There's about 71 slide in this, and I, I'm not going to sit here and read all, th all through uh, with you, but you should be able to read through your chapters and move through these slides as we talk about these things. You do have these slides in the lecture notes. And um, if you can scroll down, and, and here's what I want you to know. The key things. I just want to point out a couple of things. Uh, these, slide, these slides are not intended to replace your book. They're just little cliff notes from your book with it. So you still have to read your book with it, all right? Um, key things to study for uh, for the exam. Things, anything that you have, like in this slide, I have a computer program with a definition. Know the definition, I can tell you that. There will be asked some sort of definition on the uh, on the exam that you need to be able to understand. The other part about it is, um, just went to there. Um, when you go to, you know, for example, computer program, it's a set of uh, statements that whose objective is to accomplish a task. Let me give you a little bit more detail what a computer program, uh, from my point of view, is that it is a set of instructions that breaks down a task to smaller tasks to accomplish a goal that you want to come out from. And the way how you write your program is basically it's based off of a, of a stepwise cookbook steps um, with it. So the real world analogy that we have right here is called a recipe cookbook. The recipe cookbook is really good to use and I'm going to start down in this, in, in, in this program. Um, key things to look for is just it's one, two, three, four. Get you to learn the pattern before we can actually dive into a little bit more detail with this thing. Here's a, a typical program. You have a program that's actually coupled with the perimeter and a rectangle of or an area of a rectangle. If you look at this program that I have right here, you have your preprocessor, your pound include IO stream. Your next line is you're using namespace STD. Remember what using namespace STD is used for. And then it has a C out, and then with these extractor symbols with it, a semicolon, C in, that type of stuff with it that requires you to use na using namespace std. Uh, the pound include IO stream as what? Input output streaming the data with it. Note, there's three sections to this uh, particular code. This first section I want you to talk about is what's called allocate the memory. Initialize the memory. Double is the data type. Don't worry, this is part of the, uh, the, the discussion we're going to have. The other area is the what's called identifiers. Identifiers, what I know, I want you to know as an identifiers are three things. Variables, functions, and constants. Variable, function, and constants. So that's what makes up identifier. In this case, we're looking at length, width, and area, and perimeter. That is your variables. See out, you prompt the user. You initialize it. You hard code it to, to, to equal the length. Anything you put in equal, the right side equals the left side. Here's the, some sort of calculation with that memory. The right side equals some sort of memory address that's on the left hand side. So in this case, it's perimeter. Here's perimeter. Here's area. You need to initialize this before you can actually use it. The third step is for you to get this information to the screen. Step one, initialize or allocate memory. Prompt the user. This is part of step two. Doing some sort of calculation is part of step two. Step three is getting this out of the memory. This is what it looks like when you actually allocate and, and do all this. So uh, this is what a sample, what an output looks like. All right. So when you compile it on your same side of code in your Visual Studio, you should get the same set of instructions right here. Let me come down here. <clears throat> this talks about what I just talked to you about. Uh, I really like this slide. Let me let me pause right now. Let me pause. <clears throat> 